Hello, welcome to Fire Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to look at a really interesting product that you might want to use or might want to get your hands on, and that's these beautiful freeze dried roses. But first of all, I'd like to say hello to our sponsor, which is Mahi. Mahi do a range of leather goods, and uh, this is one of their aprons. Now, they also do shorter versions as well, but they also do handbags and other leather goods. So if you click on the link in our description, you'll be able to have a look at all their products. And I must admit, this apron is ideal for work like this. So if you're doing something light, then obviously you don't need something heavy duty. But it's really comfortable. It's really well made. And uh, I think if I was standing making lots of Christmas wreaths, then this would be the ideal type of apron to have. Um, and it's going to last for years. So have a little look at Mahi and see what you think. So today, as I say, we're going to have a look at these roses. Now, these are not fresh. These are actually freeze dried, which means they're going to last for a long, long time. Now, this is the, the boxing that they normally come in. And um, we got ours through a company called Fleurmets. These ones are called Chiara Collection. And um, let's have a little look. There is a company called Verdissimo, uh, which also make very similar freeze-dried roses. So Verdissimo or Chiara, there's different ones you can get. Essentially, this is kind of like the standard size, uh, but you can also get these super large ones as well. And they just come in like a little box like this, which is really quite nice. They have like a little bit of protector at the back and they're normally pinned through the stem. So you could actually give that as a gift just like that or uh, and you get them in lots of different colors as well or we can do something with them so I was thinking right we're getting close to Valentine's it'd be nice to do something Valentine-y and uh, it was only really when I was rearranging our room that I came across this plastic dish and I thought this would be perfect for making a design and I did think about putting this size of roses straight into it um, because this is a plastic dish, but there's no reason why you couldn't put it on a wall and have it either way. So let's have a little look. I think you could put in roses like this and you could make a nice design. But I think what I'd like to do is put in the roses on an angle now, I'm not going to p make this uh, finished, really. This is really just to give you an idea, because we've got another little design that we're going to look at. But how cool is that? Just putting them in in a staggered way. Now, obviously, this, if it's brand new, is going to look really good, but these are going to get dusty, so you might want to look at other options. So I just thought I would show you this. This is actually a sporin that I wear with my kilt, uh, if I can lose weight and get into my kilt. And this is just one of those deep frames that I got from Ikea. So this type of frame would be perfect with this type of flower, and it would also give it a bit of protection from some dust. But it just gives you ideas, really, uh, as to things you could do. Now, I think these roses uh, would be very beautiful on the wall. Uh, but if you were uh, a business that does a lot of corporate work or a lot of event work, then you could actually put them into designs that are for rental and there's no reason why these couldn't go out, come back, go out, come back, go out, come back. And really it would be more environmentally friendly by the fact that they can be reused. So worth thinking about. I don't think your average customer is going to look at these and think that they're not real, uh, other than the fact that they're absolutely gorgeous. So, that's one idea for you. Now, this was another one of their products that they had, which is basically a single rose. So you can get lots of different options. And I was looking at this and I was thinking, this would be a little bit like Beauty and the Beast, where it's in the glass dish. Uh, so, with that in mind, I just so happen to have one of these kind of bell jars. So, what I've done is I've I went outside and had a wee look for some 
twigs and I found these really nice ones that have got some lichen and all I've done is prop them into a little clay pot with some stones to hold it so nothing more and uh, this is our bell jar so straight away we've got something that's kind of interesting you need to check your height um, that is fine but we just want to put that a little bit more to the center so i think if you were making something like this you want to decide are we making it so that it's permanent or are we making it so that it's just um, kind of temporary and you might want to change it at a later date i'm going with the temporary idea and i wanted to pick up on our roses so i'm just going to add a few little pieces of interest into the bottom of our container. So I've got a little bit of moss. And I've got little stems. And really, we're just wanting to make something that's interesting. Uh, this was some grass. Now I can just pop these in really and the stones are gonna act as the thing that'll hold it. Yeah, that's good. Quite liked having a little tall one as well. Now, when I was looking around, I also found these, which are some poppies. Now, I got these last year out the garden and uh, they'd got to the end of the summer and they'd actually just started drying really on their own. And I thought, ooh, rather than buy them, I'll just uh, get them and have them and uh, keep them. So it is worth keeping an eye out for things you might have in your garden. So we need to just check how this is looking. I'm very conscious that the roses here need to be away from this edge. This is going to be a problem. This might be a little bit big. So we can take it down a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. And I've even, <laughs> when I was looking for my stones, I found a snail. So we can make like a little bit of a diorama here. And then we need to find a rose. Now, I want to attach this. If we were making this permanent, you could use a wire, you could use um, a wire or a, a pin or something. I just want this to sit nicely. So we need to check our design. Excuse me while I just try this. <laughs> now this is just sitting wrong so we need to change it but you can see that this is going to look good and what's making it really pop is the colour but also that branch uh, with its strong colours is looking good as well. So yeah you could glue these, you could uh, make this much more permanent. Uh, you could even run a little bit of glue around the inside of the dish so that you are totally sealing it. But I think it's quite nice ringing the changes. Uh, so having it kind of, it's here for Valentine's and then you can change it later, I think works really well. So this gives you an idea of something different that you might want to create. Now, we've done this with a Valentine's theme, but you might want to make something that has, you know, really like a dark and sinister feel, or it could be very summery, it could be very light. 
it's really up to you. But a great way of keeping an arrangement that will last a lot longer and doesn't really get dusty and kind of brings an old idea right up to date. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, click here to subscribe. If you've already subscribed, then thank you very much. Have a little look at Mahi and have a look at their aprons because if you are doing a lot of different things, so even if you're maybe like a hairdresser uh, or a barber, you might find that these are quite good as well. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. We've got new videos every week and we'd really like you to join us for our next one. So take care and see you soon.